Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley is live at the school. Bailey, how many threats does that make this week? Stacey, we're now sitting at four. The first came in on Monday night, aimed towards Cheney Middle School. The threat so specific that it prompted school officials to make Tuesday a distance learning day for all of Cheney Middle School students. West Fargo police say two juveniles have since been charged and arrested in that case. Two more threats came to officials' attention last night. One aimed towards Heritage Middle School, the other one aimed towards Liberty Middle School. Officials later came out last night saying neither of those threats were credible. Now, Stacey, I want to emphasize that today's threat at Liberty Middle School is not the same as last night's threat at Liberty Middle School. Police say that today's threat came uh, from, on Snapchat around 1130 this morning, and they had that suspect arrested within an hour. Police say through their investigation, they found that that student had no intention of carrying out any of their uh, threats of violence. But police say, obviously, just the threat alone uh, warrants an arrest. Now, we don't know what that Snapchat said. We don't know what kind of picture was depicted on that Snapchat, but Stacey, it was enough that West Fargo police say they do plan to forward charges of felony terrorizing to the Cass County State's Attorney's Office. We'll continue to keep you updated on this story for now. Live in West Fargo tonight, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live.